for this tutorial, we are going to use this workflow, which is being displayed. And I'll leave the link to the paper so that you read more about this workflow as well. If you are a beginner, I will also encourage you to watch my other video where I give a general overview of RNA seq data analysis. So please do that. In order for you to follow this tutorial, you need to make sure you have a Unix like operating system. So with this, I'm referring to Linux or Mac OS. Any of them should be fine. In addition, you should have Anaconda installed on that PC. Instructions for installing Anaconda is in the description box. So please watch those videos to set up your PC. And so without further ado, let's start the practicals. Okay, so we are on the terminal and ready to start the exercise. The first thing we have to do is to get the master scripts. We are going to use the script to download all the necessary scripts we will use for this exercise. This script can be found on my GitHub repo, which is called Transcriptomics. And this is the page. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. So here, search for a file called getscript.sh, this file here, and then just get it. So click on it to download, and then you'll be sent to this page. Just click on raw, and then you'll be sent to this page. And here, just right click it, and then just go to save pages. And then you can just save it on your file. On the terminal, we can also download it. So to download on the terminal, which I'm going to do, I need to first get the link. So just copy this link here that I am hovering my cursor over and then use that. So let's go to the terminal and then I'll show you what to do. So on the terminal, let's first create a directory where we were working. So we say make the RNA sick. And then let's cd to it. So now we are ready to download the master scripts. So to download, I'll use widget. So I'll say widget. And then I'll supply it with the link to the file. You can also use curl to download, but uh, the choice depends on you. So that's it. So once we have this, we execute the command. Okay, so the script has been downloaded for us. So let's clear the screen and just check it out. So do an ls and you will find a file there. Because this is a bash script, we have to add execution rights. And so we say chmod plus x and we call the scripts here, this file. So let's execute it. It's done. So do an ls and then depend on your environment, the color of the file would have changed. But the color doesn't matter. So far as we have executed the command, that's fine. So we are going to run this script to download all the other scripts. So we see dot slash and then we specify the scripts here to download the rest of the files. Okay, so download is being done for us. Perfect, so all the scripts that we need have been downloaded. So let's clear the screen and check them out. So do an ls and you'll find them there. I will explain what each script or file does as we move along. Because some of them are bash scripts, we need to add execution rights. And so again, we are going to issue the ch mode again, plus x. And this time you will say star.sh. So execution rights will be added to all the files that end with .sh. And so let's execute this command. Perfect, it's done. So do an ls and you will see that the colors have changed again. And so we are ready to roll. The next thing we have to do is to install the tools and packages we need for this exercise. We are going to use Anaconda. And so for this particular installation process, we are going to use the environment file, which is here. So this file here has the details we will need for this exercise. So let's do a cut first to display. And then you see the list of tools, the environment and channels. But I have a separate tutorial that goes into details with installing tools with Anaconda. So 
if you want to understand this particular file here you can just watch that video to um, get it the link to that video is in the description box now let's proceed so let's clear the screen and continue before we use this environment file to install the tools we need to add channels we need to add conda channels we are going to use three channels here r by and then conda for so let's add them so to add channels we see conda config add channels let's add the first one which is r let's add a second channel conda config add channels bioconda let's add a third one the same commands at this time we add conda forge perfect so now we have all the channels added so we are ready to roll okay so now that we have the channels added, we are now going to execute another conda command to install the tools. So we see conda f create dash f and we specify the environment one dot yaml file and then we execute this command. And so conda will check the contents and then use that to create an environment and install the tools for us. So let's wait whilst that is being done. okay so installation is complete let's clear the screen and continue the next thing we have to do is to activate our environment we are going to activate and then we are also going to install one last package which is an r package so let's do that now to activate you need to call conda and then also specify the environment and so if you don't know the environment you have you can just check it out by saying conda env list so this will show the environment that you have on your system our environment is called rna -seq. you can also check it here let's do a head on the environment file and you will see it here this is the name so it is this name that we are going to use to activate our environment so let's Continue. Let's clear the screen and continue. So let's say Conda activates RNA seq. Perfect. We now have the environment activated. We are now going to install two additional R packages. These packages I was not able to install them using Conda, so I'll use a different approach so let's first activate the r environment so just type r uppercase r and then i go to the r environment let's first clear the screen here in r to clear the screen we use the control and then the l so let's do that to get a new screen one of the packages is available on github so we need to use another library to help us do the installation so i'll load that library first so i'll say library dev tools okay so this library will help us to install one of the packages so let's install the first package which is in um, github which is hosted on github and so to install a package uh, that is hosted on github we use dev tools so we say dev tools and then we give our double colon and then we say install GitHub. Then we specify the package that we want to install. So let's specify that. So I am using the instructions that has been given for installing that particular package in R. So this is how we do it. So we get our dev tools and then they install GitHub and then we specify everything else in code. So Alisa Frazi, I think that is the GitHub user. So I think that is quite the account that is hosting there. Uh, package so alisa frazi yeah that's the name and then slash and then we give the package name which is r schedule brewer yes so this package here this is what 
we are getting so let's close the brackets let's check that everything is okay here okay so we have the spellings correct so we can run this to install this particular package so let's do that okay so that package has been installed let's install the second package that one is jj repel so let's clear the screen and then just do that as well so let's do that for that one we are going to use the conventional r command that is install.packages so we say install.packages and then we give the name so i'll put it in quotes jj repel like this and then i'll hit the enter button to install so here we are being asked to specify um, a CRAN repository so i'll just choose let's say 80 yeah, let's use 80 and then let's select it so after that installation will proceed okay that package has also been installed so we are ready to go so since that package has been successfully installed we will just quit r so to quit r we use the kill key but i'll clear the screen and then just use a new one so that you can see it um better so let's do this so let's quit r so we say kill and then we give our parentheses here and then we hit the enter button we are being asked to save the workspace image but i don't need to do that so i'll say n and then i'll just exit the r environment so now we have all the packages we need installed so we are now ready to start the analysis so let's clear the screen and continue 